hello everyone welcome to my channel if your dream is to become a data scientist or a data analyst cracking the sql interview round is a very important stage for attaining your dream myself emily prasad i'm a mentor for data science and analytics i can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in the top companies which are available at the lead code platform all my code solutions for the questions available in lead code platform are there in my github repository the link for that is available in the chart description below in addition to that, I have segregated the channel into five playlists, namely easy, medium and hard, depending upon the difficulties of the questions, premium level subscription questions of lead code as premium playlist and all the 230 questions combined into one single playlist as all SQL playlist ordered by the sequence number. Let's see the question which we are trying to solve it today. Okay, it is type medium question number 2066 account balance. Let's see it in lead code. Okay, they have given a transaction table which is consisting of particular account ID, type, date. Okay, write an SQL query to report the balance of each user after each transaction. You may assume that the balance of each account before any transaction is zero and the balance will never be below zero at any moment. Okay, written the table in ascending order by account ID and the okay day in that okay let's see an example Here you can see there are two customers, customer 1, customer 2. He has done three transactions, he has done two transactions. Initially, 1 balance is 0, 2's balance is also 0. Okay. Now what happened on the, there are three days if you see, on 7th, 9th, 11th, continuously again 7th, 12th. So, on the first day in sequence wise, on November 7th, he deposited 2000 rupees. Deposits means na amount is added. So plus 2000. So his balance on the that day is 2000. Okay. After that, he removed minus 1000. Withdraw means minus 1000 rupees. He has taken 2000 minus 1000, 1000 rupees. Again, after the third day, he added 3000 rupees to his balance. Again, 3000. 1000 plus 3000, 4000. This is story of customer 1. Similarly, for customer 2, initially his salary is 0. Okay. He added 7000 rupees to his bank balance. So, his amount became 7000. After that, he removed minus 7000 from his balance. So, it became 0. Okay. That is the result they are doing. So, what they are doing? They are ordering by date. First of all, they are partitioning for each account ID and ordering by date ascending and they are doing the sum of amount such that if it is deposit, it is plus amount. If it is withdraw, it is negative amount. Let's write the code for that. From transactions table, select. account id day now we need to calculate such that what we need to do we need to partition by account id order by order by day ascending okay now what we need to do we need to do sum such that case when Type is deposit. Then we should add pause to sum. Okay. If it is not deposit, we should add minus amount. Minus 1 into amount. End the statement. Okay. This is what they have done. Same. So let's give some alias name for this one, balance. Okay. 
okay it got accepted let's submit it okay it got accepted but there is a caveat here you need to also order by account id ascending comma day ascending even though if you don't give also it will execute okay our solution has been successfully accepted with, uh, with the platform thanks for watching my video if you want more detailed explanations like this please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and colleagues who are preparing for a data scientist or a data analyst uh, interview for an SQL round thanks for watching keep practicing keep completing the all the 230 questions which are there in my channel you will be able to crack any SQL round